Taking a look at the synthesis problem, this is just a classic organic synthesis problem of alkenes, right? So what are the reagents we need to provide in order to get to this product? And you could pause this video and kind of think of it. This is just for practice, right? So let me see. We have an alkene here um, and we have two OHs there, right? Uh, so we know in order to get two H's, we need an alkene carbon-carbon double bond. But this would not make sense here because the, the OH's are not added onto either side. They're added on here, right? So the first thing I would do is try to um, um, kind of add some sort of, and we, we're thinking through this, uh, we, we're thinking through this together. All right, so the first thing I would do is add uh, some sort of, uh, hx right and look what this does so if i had hbr right i'm keep on writing oh this is not an, oh but if i add hbr to this molecule now this follows the markovnikov product right so notice we have two hydrogens here and i have none here on on this part of the carbon carbon double bond so i'm gonna bromine so i'm gonna get a bromine that's right here and i'm gonna get a ch3 all right that's right there so this is where i stand right now all right now when we talk about dihydroxylation or, or forming two diols um we know that we have to get to an alkene first because those are the reactions of alkenes right so what if we add some sort of strong base so i don't know let's add sodium ethoxide or methoxide if we add a strong base, right? This sodium doesn't act as a nucleophile. That's just like, that's just floating in a solution, right? A strong base on a tertiary alkyl halide eliminates, right? So you could imagine these hydrogens being here. This comes in, plucks off the hydrogen, kicks in, and then kicks off the bromine, right? So we get, we come to a product that looks like this with a CH3 and a double bond here. And now we could just add, because they're sent to one another, we could add osmium tetroxide in the first step and then animal in the second step, some sort of solvent. And in terms of stereochemistry, this shows syn addition. So you'll get one OH being here, another being here. And so the methyl group has to be going away on this car, um, carbon and these will be the reagents necessary um, in order to make this uh, synthesis problem go so again these synthesis problems you got uh, problem you got to think about it but again knowing you got to know this stuff right so practice and practice practice trust me it becomes it will become perfect